Howdy everybody, Argon Matrix here. Welcome to episode 128 of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're going to get right into it with the greedier mode run as Magdalene today. And first things first, I need to acknowledge out the bat, um, ZSYM106P, that's our C, that's the very first thing I should always acknowledge. But uh, the second thing I should acknowledge is that I realize this is coming a bit later in the day than these videos normally come. I know at the end of every video I promise, like, noon p.m. mountain time, like, every single day. Didn't quite happen that way today. This is coming out uh, later in the evening. And that's just because I've been busy lately with uh, with various other things in my life. And it's just happened that I couldn't, wasn't able to record it. Couldn't find a good time to record this episode and put it up. So I'm recording it now, roughly maybe just like a few hours before it even goes live, before you're seeing it right this second. Provided you're watching it when it came out. If you're watching it like a year from now, I can't help you on that one, sorry. But, um, here we are. We're going to pretend that, like that's not the case. Hopefully you guys can enjoy it, and I'll be able to get back to regularly schedule uploads by tomorrow. It's just a minor little fluke. I want to keep these coming daily, and daily they shall be, regardless of if they're at the proper time every single day. Remains to be seen. I mean, I've already broken that, uh, that rule, because there was one day where I actually uploaded one at 12.30 instead of 12. Oh man, what a bad little man I am. At any rate, we are going to go ahead and uh, do our best on greedier mode today. It is tough, as always, and Magdalene starts at a bit of a disadvantage speed-wise, but the extra HP could definitely come in handy, especially when it comes to uh, trying to get deals with the devil and whatnot. Unfortunately, both of our spirit hearts from Squeezy are already gone. Squeezy was a very nice first item room item, by the way. But uh, we just don't have the dodging capability with 0.85 speed in order to actually make the make the most of that. My cat is like she's like in my lap, but like in the most awkward position. So I'm trying to like balance her here, and she's like like trying to like pawing at my hand as I play. And it's a very weird situation to be in. Is this really not the last wave yet? I don't know. Like, I guess I'm used to like the timer of greed mode where it's only eight waves until the boss waves, and this one is nine, so it just throws me off by that slightest amount, just enough to make it, uh, make it noticeable, make me be like, man, these waves are going on for a long time. Okay, I need to, I'm gonna finish this wave and then I need to get readjusted here, because my face, I have to itch my face, there's a cat on my lap in a very strange position that's stressing my legs out. I can't deal with this, man. I need to be in the zone for greedier mode, more, more now than ever. It's probably well the hardest mode of the game if I had to uh, had to make a judgment call. All right, there she goes. Go on, Minu. You go ahead and uh, deal with that. I'm going to scratch my face as well. Here we go. Good stuff. Oh, man. Nothing quite like a good face itch, you know? It's when you get that perfect, perfect, most satisfying itch you can possibly get. All right. So, we had a 1-up in here. I don't know if that's necessarily worth the 7 cents. I mean, it probably is, in all fairness. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. It's on sale. So we can afford it and a key as well. I actually wouldn't mind the wooden spoon, but I don't think I'm going to be able to afford it with the amount of money you get in greedier mode. Off of two boss waves, I'm not likely to get a full 15 cents. So unless we get something that, uh, that subverts expectations here, probably not going to come into play too frequently. Also, it's been like so long since I played as Magdalene, I guess. I like totally forgot about Yumheart, apparently. Well, that was great. Um, I just totally forgot that about this space bar item that I've been holding on to so far. I need to keep a keep good mental note of that one because I have a bad habit of not using Yumheart at the most opportune moments. Then again, Yumheart's not necessarily the greatest space bar item that there is, but it is a uh, it is pretty good, especially when you have a good amount of red hearts, which Magdalene obviously does. go, the Widow is down, now I just gotta deal with Dingle and the, th and the spiders and the dips and really a whole slew of things, but you know, it's not that bad in the grand scheme of it. I'm just glad Dingle didn't charge at all while the Widow is still alive, because that's what I was mainly worried about. So there are two bosses that you don't really think about it, but they're, like together they can pose a pretty big threat if they do the correct series of attacks and just like put you in a, put you in a corner, but nobody puts Maggie in the corner, tell you what boy. Get on out of here. So rubber cement was like it was a good, decent upgrade. It's like nothing, uh, not the end of the world, but it's an item that I like to have at, as much as possible. Like I'd rather have rubber cement than not have it. 
I don't think that's a that's a controversial opinion, but a controversial opinion may be just dying on the uh, on like the first deal with the devil wave against. Okay, yeah. Well, we did get the one up to trigger, so that's good. And the uh, both the boss waves are still taken out. So, man, I can't believe I just straight up died there. That was a little embarrassing. I guess maybe I'm a little a little bit flummoxed by just the uh, the weirdness of today because I've had a big long, big long day at work and uh, I'm stressed about not getting this video out on time. Even though I probably shouldn't be, I'm sure you guys, Lord knows you guys are like one of the most understanding audiences I've seen on YouTube, so far be it for me to be like, oh, they're gonna they're gonna hate me for not having it up like until like eight hours after the after when it's supposed to be up. Hopefully I can get it up by then. It's gonna be squeezing the time limit at Titan, and it all depends on how long this video is as well, because that'll determine the render and upload speeds and all that. Not that the upload speeds are all that strained anymore with my new internet. Got it upgraded probably a couple months ago, and it's uh, it's been a fucking life changer, man. Because normally, like one of these Isaac videos would maybe take like, depending on the length, like the average length Isaac video would say maybe take two hours to upload. Now, basically, any Isaac video takes ten to twenty minutes to upload, and it's just phenomenal. Can't get enough of this upload speed, man. It's gonna suck when I move out and have to pay for my own internet. Okay, well, this is uh, quite the deal with the devil. If I do say so myself, I think you want to take all of this. Just make sure you take it in the right order, because Abaddon's going to take away all your hearts regardless. There we go. Makes Yum Heart essentially worthless for the time being until we get any more Red Heart containers, but I'm fine with that, dude. I'm totally fine with that value proposition. Abaddon, Cube of Meat, and the Pentagram. The worst of those is Cube of Meat, and that's still not even that bad. And there's a Red Heart container, so we're back in the black, my friends. Back in black. Okay, what do we want out of this situation? Well, we're going to start with a key, as we often do. PhD in the box are interesting. Is the box a speed downgrade, though? I feel like it sometimes is. I don't know where I get that idea, because I don't think it literally is, but... Maybe it's just the idea of having a big old box surrounding your body that's like... That should make you go slower, right? Regardless, we are going to go ahead and uh, get a move on with these waves here. I could have just gone down to the next floor, theoretically. I don't know, I've never really taken advantage of any of those, like, warps down to the next floors in green mode. Because, like, they'll, they appear actually fairly often in the shops. You'll get, like, a random portal that goes down to the next floor. And I just have never had the incentive to want to do that, because I'm like, why, why would you not fight the floor and get as much money as you possibly can? Unless you're already at, like, an infinite money type situation, like you got two, two diamonds blank card. You got that sort of setup like we had on a uh, previous video. Then I could probably understand uh, just skipping ahead and just saving your own time, right? But for the most part, and even then, it's like, why would you want to skip, man? Those are some of the most fun runs I've ever had, or like blank card two diamonds, where you just get to get as many items as you possibly can. And it's like, maybe, you might think like, oh, it'd be super boring because getting all the items is just going to result in the same thing no matter what. But it all depends on the order you get the item in. Items in Cause certain items override each other, depending on what order you pick them up in. So and there's a whole variety to that in, in and of itself. Regardless, we're probably not going to make that happen on this run. Although you never know; it really only takes a couple of uh, outlying circumstances to make a breaking run happen in greed mode or otherwise. And you want PhD. Well, the box, I think he kind of, I'll take the box. I think the box could be a valuable asset. Monkey paw is uh, interesting. I don't know if it's what we necessarily need right now. The devil is fine. It's the devil in disguise. The devil you know is better than the devil you don't. Although is that really true? Because is the devil you don't know even a devil at all? Can you answer me that question? Hmm? Have you thought about that one long and hard? Regardless, Gemini is actually almost dead here. We have a pretty obscene amount of damage for this point in the game. That mostly just came from our deal with the Devil. In fact, it pretty much entirely came from our deal with the Devil, except for the tears upgrade from Squeezy. But my god, it feels good, man. I'm not, I'm not like, steamrolling the game by any means. These enemies aren't melting before my very eyes, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark style. But we're going to get there. I have faith. This seems like the kind of run that wants to be kind to me. 
And I'm more than willing to let that happen. All right, we have 15 cents. Do we want to buy anything else? Uh, I mean, breakfast, that's more HP. Or PhD is good pills. But you don't find that many pills in greed mode is the thing, unless you buy them. Like, you have to go out of your way specifically for that. So what I think we can do is I'm going to blow this up, access this golden chest, hope for the best here. Okay, that's fine. Pretty much traded a, a key for a coin there, which is a bad trade, but not the end of the world. And I'm just going to save my money, I think. Fight the deal with the devil wave. Hopefully get something nice for the, on our deal with the devil. We have a pretty, uh, like one HP is a pretty solid amount of HP for a deal with the devil, because it means you can take a deal, a two heart deal for a... For a deal, for a steal of a deal, if you catch my drift. Alright, well. I'm not handling this rag fight, this ragman fight with the most efficacy I probably could, but they're dead now. He's dead now, Jim. Alright, so we got my shadow there. Not Judas's shadow, that's the upright version, so this version is actually quite a bit worse. Is it worth taking? I would say probably not in this case. So let's just go ahead and shoot this poop. Because every little bit of money is going to count, and you never know when you get one out of the poop. And move on down here. Yeah, shooting poop I think is a valid tactic in greedier mode. When they're pretty stingy with the coin payouts. Alright, so we got another HP upgrade here, which makes me glad I did not buy breakfast on the previous floor. So we got, okay, we got some good stuff going on here. The habit could be good. Actually, all th all three of these could be good. Uh, I'm, I'm excluding the D12, because... Do we really need to even talk about the D12 at this point in the game? That's alright. So that's basically just a free key right there. I'm probably not going to be able to afford all three of those, but I should be able to afford at least two. Lead pencil is also totally fine by me. Random burst damage, or burst damage every 15 shots I think it is. It's not that bad. There we go. If we can improve our tier rate, that'll be even better, actually. So, what's the tier order that I would want these? Like, what's what's the most valuable to me? Probably, like, right now, uh, PJs is very valuable. And then, I think the battery might be valuable. Might be more valuable than the habit. Although, not, neither of them are, like, super necessary, really. Especially just just because of uh, the space problem that we have right now isn't benefiting us all that much. And with PJs, it'll benef benefit us even less than it normally would. However, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, right? So, I mean, we'll take it with the hopes of getting a, of getting a better space bar item in the future. Although, that does beg the question of what is better on a more objective sort of level the habit or the battery, and I'm inclined to say the habit, because with with Yumheart in particular, I think the battery is a little better, just in my opinion, but just in a general sense, I guess the habit might be more useful, so maybe we'll revise our decision there, but we got some time to think about it regardless. Who knows, if luck is on our side, we might be able to afford all three. Or an item might pop up when I buy the other ones that makes me uh, want to choose it over over the battery or the habit once after I buy uh, whatever it was. I can't even remember the other item right now. It's just so firmly cemented in my brain that I want to have it. What is it, though? It is, um... Nope, can't remember. Oh, it's PJs. That's right. All those spirit hearts. Those delicious, delectable spirit hearts. Come on, buddy. You're almost there. There we go. Good stuff, up to 30 cents now. Let's go ahead and buy PJs. Uh, Mom's Pearls is not really the item I'm looking for. The luck upgrade could be decent, but in green mode, I don't think it's super necessary. Or at necessary at all, quite frankly. I don't know what luck really determines in green mode, other than uh, luck-based effects that you may or may not have on your items. And I can never internalize which effects are luck-based and which ones aren't. Apparently, Charm of the Vampire is not luck-based. I learned that recently from a comment on the one challenge we did recently, Have a Heart. That one's every 13 enemies you kill, you get half a heart, which is a strange number, but, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a fitting number, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. It's a charming number. There we go, that's all done, taken care of. 
Already lost a fair amount of my PJ's HP that I purchased, but that's okay. Do you want the battery? Do you want the habit? I'm still not sure. I'm still not convinced one way or the other. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the battery and hope that that's not gonna, uh, that I'm not gonna regret that. Got pay to play. Better if you take it early in greed mode if you get the chance to. Right at, at this point in the game, probably not worth uh, taking even if I could afford it, which I currently cannot. I do have some bombs to make this carry and queen fight a lot easier though. They're Mr. Boom Bombs to boot, so have at that. Head down here, and what do we got for our deal? We got the Whore of Babylon. Okay, I'll definitely take that and then hope that I can get a deal in, or a good deal in the future. Any deal will do, just to get rid of the, uh, the red HP. I need to get down to at least half a red heart. But I'd like to have a good deal. Is there like a blood donation machine or a demon beggar or something up here that I can do this with? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Maybe on the next floor. We'll see. For now, let's just head on down. Not sure exactly what I'm saving this devil card for. I might just try and save it for the Omega Greed fight. That might be the best way to do it because I'm, I'm not guaranteed to get any more damage. Well, I say that and then I get to growth hormones here. But I'm not guaranteed to get any more damage over the course of the rest of this run. Okay, although there's Magic Mush, so I mean, <laughs> there's that, I suppose. Just making a fool out of me. We also have We Need to Go Deeper. We have a uh, Roid Rage for 7 cents. Okay, so I think we want Roid Rage and Magic Mush. And then we can leave uh, We Need to Go Deeper alone. Let's go ahead and buy the key first. Check this out. Got Aquarius, which is. Not great, but you know, it's fine. If it gave me like a tears upgrade, which I feel like it almost should just by the very nature of the item, then it would actually be a great, one of the greater uh, Zodiac signs in my opinion, but it is what it is, you know. Let's go ahead and buy Roid Rage here, and then we'll save up our the rest of our money for Magic Mush there. Magic Mush there. It does come with a bit of a caveat, the Magic Mush upgrade, in that it makes it's going to make it harder for us to activate our Horror Babylon stakes. We'll have more red HP, but I think that's like such a pointless argument to have when you're talking about Magic Mushroom of all things. That like, don't even worry about it, dude. Do not even worry. I'm hoping my HP doesn't come back to bite me in the ass anytime here. Because I haven't been playing with the utmost, you know, respect for my HP up to this point. As you can clearly tell, I would, I think. I'm not trying to run into these enemies, I swear. But it just kind of happens sometimes, you know? Don't run over that button, though. That's uh, not something we're interested in right now by any stretch. Okay, there's a random mushroom down here. Of course he would shoot in that configuration. I mean, that's my fault for standing that close to him, admittedly, but still. Why you gotta be so rude? Okay. Why you gotta be so rude? No, I'm a human too. God damn it. You can see the creep there. Again, my fault. I'm just off my game today, man, apparently. Like I said, been busy with real life. It's sort of uh, conflating my... Not conflating, that's actually the exact opposite word of what I would want to use. It's the exact opposite word! Oh, I'm turning 13 all over again! Um, We do not have enough for Magic Mushroom just yet, but that's fine. Just have to fight these boss waves, and it'll be Hunky and Dory at the same time. Is, it, is this really just Double Dingle? I was anticipating Double Dingle and maybe like a Frail or something, but you know, that's fine by me. Especially when we got another boss wave coming up very quickly here. Oh, it's Triple Chad. <laughs> you know, one of these things is a little bit more threatening than the other. Still, I mean, Triple Chad's not that bad in the grand scheme of things. Especially when Lead Pencil apparently just tears through his ass. Alright. Definitely in a scary spot in regards to my HP now. I need to really focus. Just buckle down here. You gotta focus. How? How do I focus? I don't know how you focus. You just focus. You can start by getting Magic Mushroom, though. Magic Mushroom, I said. All right. Uh, dead Bird, don't really care. Not that I can afford it anyway. Let's go ahead and fight Double Carrion Queen. That's actually a pretty terrible assortment of enemies. Thankfully, that Mr. Boom Bomb is going to soften that one up pretty nicely for me. Did that tear, like, stick to her for a second, or was that just me? 
is it stuck to really almost like it was an explosivo tier, but it didn't grow and then it just like fell off at some point. I don't know if it was just a weird optical illusion or what, but whatever. Whatever, Isaac, you do you. So in strange twist of events here, I'm actually hoping this deal with the devil contains like black hearts or something, as opposed to an actual deal. We'll see though. Okay, Krampus is not that bad. We have enough uh, damage to make him not the worst in the world, and we could get a lump of coal out of this. Or we could get a Krampus' head, which I think I will take over Yumheart. Although, you know what? No, I'm going to take Yumheart, actually. It might be foolhardy, but now that I'm actually down to my red HP with no uh, Spirit Heart buffer, it could be a valid, a valid item to hold on to. Especially with the battery charge on our side, so... Let's go ahead and, uh, not, the not a battery charge, but just the battery, the item. The battery, the item, the video game, the movie, starring Isaac as the battery. Got a little Steven here. And then for our last item room, let's go and find out what we got. Alright, we got meat in here in Pando Pandora's box. I think Pandora's box would actually be pretty solid. Uh, box of friends, on the other hand, not so much. Although there will be two-thirds of the box transformation, which isn't a thing. I don't know, man. Pandora's box or the meat. The, like, the meat will give us a guaranteed HP upgrade, as well as the damage. Hi, Minu. Come on. She wants to She wants to join. She wants to come back. Come back to the party. There we go. Oh, she's so finicky lately. So that's a guaranteed sort of upgrade, whereas Pandora's box, I think, on this floor, will give us a deal with the devil item. Which could be debatably better, unless we get something like the leech, which wouldn't be my favorite thing to see. But you know what? Like, we'll see here. I don't know why I did that. Like, right off the bat, just totally butchered that yum heart usage, but hopefully it won't be the end of the world here. But it may turn out to be more than I ever realized. Okay, we got a spirit heart out of that. That's pretty nice. Just focus... As much as you can on dodging here. Okay, that's a great dodge. That's a great dodge. What? There's a spirit heart down there. Did I not pick that up or what? Okay, we got. We also got the monkey paw to activate. So we actually are in a surprisingly good spot for having just been down to half of a red heart. Nary a moment ago. This, can we get this guy out of here, please? My god. I'm starting to sweat, man. Sweating buckets. I should not be, should not be in this bad of a spot for having 14 damage, but... This is what defines a glass cannon run, I suppose. Except a glass cannon, normally you're actually like good at the game and dodging enemies, but apparently that's just not that's just not how I'm playing today. I don't know what it is, man. There's still those invisible fuckos around. I think I killed them all, actually. Okay, that's all good, all glorious. Oh, I don't know, man. I mean, clearly, I think the HP upgrade is probably a better investment for us now. I don't know, though. Pandora's box is very tempting, as is as goes the, uh, the myth of Pandora's box, I suppose. What's in the box, man? It's, such, it's so tempting, I need to know. Almost managed to take out Monster 2 before uh, Conquest spawned here. That would have been sweet, because it would have gotten rid of these skulls as well, but no huge deal. Conquest is already dead. Not bad. All right. We have enough money. We have to make our choice now. And I think, as silly as it might be, I'm going to go Pandora's box. Wow, there's a third box there. Uh, oh, we just got four spirit hearts. Well, you know what? That's fine, too. I thought there was going to be a deal with the devil item on this floor. Clearly, I was mistaken. I think that's what it normally is on the Sheol floor, but I guess in greed mode, it's different. Uh, we got double death here. Double D's guaranteed. Looks like I'm winning first prize. It's like two beach balls in a shirt, guys. Okay. We we'll get our deal with the devil here. Not our last deal with the devil, but our second to last. It may be our last, depending on how our HP looks on the next floor. So we might not want to go for the deal with the devil fight if we're not in a decent spot in that regard. For now, let's focus on the here and now. We have survived, despite being at down to half a heart at one point on this run. We actually already died at one point on this run. I totally forgot about that, but... You know, I guess we should really be thanking the 1-Up over anything else. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to make myself play good. We, okay, we got Leviathan, which gives us gives us two black hearts. Wasn't anticipating that, but 
I was just gonna say I'm gonna make myself play good by putting myself down to a terrible spot in terms of HP. Especially because now Yum Heart does us no good, but. Alright, last floor, what do we got here? I'm gonna be not so frugal about like uh about spending my money here because I want the win. And plus, I find in greedier mode, you don't have to worry so much about keeping money to donate at the end because Gre Ultra Greed himself seems to drop like a ton of money often. Um, okay, how do we want to handle this? I think what we're probably going to end up doing is just like saving up our money and then buying a fuck ton of spirit hearts or something. That may be the way to go here. Because I could buy that HP upgrade, but not only is it more expensive and we'll have like less, less, less effective HP on our side. But, uh, it'll also compromise Horror Babylon, which I do not want to do, really. So let's go ahead and just focus on our dodges here. Try and make Mob the Void work out, if, uh, if at all possible. Get some black hearts out of it, if we're lucky. Of course, our luck stat is not all that in a bag of potato chips right now. Is that a real saying, or did I just imagine that in a fever dream? I think it's a real saying. What it means, or where it works... Or originates from, I couldn't tell you, but there we go. These black hearts are actually coming in handy for more than just HP purposes. Actual damage output from them is pretty respectable. I wish it kind of, I wish that damage scaled with your, uh, with your actual damage. Be totally broken, I know, but there is our maw charge. So glad to have this charge bar now, man. It's so much easier to pay attention to than the very subtle tells on your actual character. All right, let's go ahead and uh, just buy a bunch of spirit hearts like I intended, like God intended. That's probably enough right there. I mean, it's not like we could afford any more, but after this boss boss wave, we could afford some more. I don't know if I'm going to take any more of those, the thing. Because I know I said I don't need, feel the need to save up too much money for the donation, but I'd like to save up a little bit, you know. It's like I'm just going to get like 99 cents off the greed fight. As ridiculous as that would be. Okay, I'm, maybe I'm... <laughs> this this version of the double maw fight is admittedly pretty bad, so I'm not feeling too bad about taking all this damage, but still. It's a little ludicrous. And I ain't talking about the rapper. There we go. Alright, now do we fight for our deal with the devil? I think... We don't, actually, because we don't really have enough HP to make it work either way. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy a couple more Spirit Hearts here. Put myself down to one cent, which is pretty bad. And then just get a move on here. Granted, like, the deal with the Devil could be just a bunch of Spirit Hearts or Black Hearts or what have you. I don't feel like uh, gambling with that one, though. It could also be just, like a, like, a single Red Chest or a series of Red Chests that contains Spiders and Bombs, so... By the same toke, I think it's uh, valid to not want to fight. Thanks for that, though. The damage and the money. Sarcastically and not. Alright, let's head in here. We're gonna pop off our Devil card, give us another 2 damage. Which may make the difference in a, in a, in a long-ass boss fight like this. 2 damage on top of 15 can actually, uh, actually change things up pretty decently. And go a little bit faster. Give us that extra little kick that we need. I hope. So I'm going to save this Maw of the Void Charge. I'm not going to get greedy. I'm going to save it for when these coins drop to try and... Uh, I don't know if the coins themselves can drop Black Hearts from Maw of the Void. But it's also just a fast way of taking out... Hold on, I got to scratch my nose. There was like cat hair by my nose. It's weird. It's also just a fast way of taking out the coins those mob through Maw of the Void. Okay... Don't worry about it, just charge on over this way. We're doing a, we're doing fine. Oh, we did get a black card out of that, so I think those coins... Because I'm pretty sure that was a coin, not just a random minion, because I don't think there were any of those spawned at the moment. So that should answer our question, that they thought black hearts can spawn from these, it would seem. Based on purely anecdotal evidence. stuff, good stuff. Yeah, when he charges you down, feel free to try and use Maw of the Void to good effect there. I, my worry is that I'll just, like, get greedy and just rush him with Maw of the Void when it's ready, but I should really just wait for him to come to me before I unleash that. 
Wow, I actually got lucky. Very lucky that he really dropped no bombs anywhere near me down in this corner. It's kind of funny. Again, man. Maybe it's just he doesn't drop them that close to himself. I, I'm pretty sure the bombs from the, those bomb coins can't actually hurt him. But maybe that's just a facet of the fight that I've never noticed. Okay, that was a... Uh, you know what? That wasn't even a bad dodge on my, sh on my part. That was a primo shot on Ultra Greed's part. That was just dynamite, dude. He read me like a fucking book as I dodged behind that coin. Okay. We're almost through the first phase of the fight here. and We still have a respectable amount of HP. It's not as much as I would like to have going into this next phase of the fight. And we're liable to take maybe even one or two more hits before we reach that phase. Of course, that black heart does help immensely in in terms of the my psychological state of mind when entering the second phase anyway. Whether that's going to help in the grand scheme totally remains to be seen. I'm a poet and I didn't know it as well. Okay, he's almost there. His minions will die with him. I'm pretty sure they die with him as he enters his second phase anyway. Honestly, these minions aren't that bad because they're pretty good fodder for Ma of the Void. Just gotta get him with a couple more shots here. There he goes. Alright, halfway through this. Let's keep going, buddy. Oh yeah, only a face a mother could love. A face only a mother could love. Now, we're not nearly as good of a spot fighting him in this this time as we were previously in our last Grimo video, which was the last video, coincidentally. But I feel like we still have more than enough damage to put up a very good fight here. Those shots, I'm going to have to do a little bit better at dodging uh, if I want to stand a chance here. Got a luck upgrade out of that penny, which is kind of funny. Getting the luck upgrade in the final fight of the game. Okay, going to dodge up this way. Get some money out of this. See, this is what I mean, is that, like, these coins can oftentimes drop so much money that you don't even need to worry about saving up that much. I'm already up to 14 cents here. It came down with, like, what, one cent? And granted, we did get some just before the, uh, the fight. From the Greed mini fight, but... Okay. That's alright, that's alright. Just shoot these coins, get them out of here. That was pretty bad dodge on my part, but it's okay. Not the end of the world. Although I am getting a little bit harrowed by uh by all these all this damage I'm taking. Just don't tilt that much. We still have a long way to go in this fight. Can't let it go to your head. The good or the bad. Or the ugly. Talking to you, Ultra Greed, Omega Greed, whatever I'm gonna call you from now on, I don't know. I can't decide on anything in that front. goes. Just dodge in these circles, which are really more like squares, but... Okay, and don't stand too close to him either. Oh god, almost just walked into that brimstone bean. That would have been a little embarrassing. Yeah, don't stand too close to him, because when he... If I do, and then he, like, fires off a shot, or a volley of shots, or whatever, then it often is gonna hit me, and I don't... I just don't have the maneuverability to dodge, especially because they explode. Why does everything he does explode? Is that is that something in the lore that I need to be aware of, or is it just like basically just a final fuck you at the end of Ultra Greed mode? Ultra Greed mode. It's the new mode, man. Oh shit! 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 Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're doing a okay. He's so close to dead. Come on, man. Come on. Oh shit! Okay, that's that's fine. That's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Oh, he's actually dead. Oh shit, okay, well, very matter of fact in that kill of him, it's like, oh, he's actually dead. We got Glyph of Balance and Colorful Baby, which I guess is our Magdalene unlock for getting everything done as her. Got 40 cents to donate, which is much more than I anticipated, so clearly, in Greedier Mode, uh, like, if you're going for max donations, Greedier Mode is obviously the way to do it, apparently. My god, did not anticipate that. Here we go. We got a pretty good win streak of these greedier mode wins, though, so far. I mean, granted, like, it's a three win streak. One of those was a greed mode win, but it was as the lost, so I mean, effectively kind of as hard as greedier mode, right? Right? 
Anyway, that's all our money. There is a single cent back here that I can grab real quick. Let me just make sure there's nothing else hiding behind this chest. Doesn't seem like it. Let's get out of here, my friends. Alright, so that's Magdalene all done and dusted. Good shit, good shit. Next time, I guess we'll move on to Kane and see how he handles Greedier Mode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and or comment down below. It really helps out the channel. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more. See more. I post a single Isaac video every day, usually at noon mountain time. Sometimes it's thrown off a little bit, but you know, like 99% odds ain't bad. Regardless, I'm going to get out of here, so... Have yourselves a good day. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Oh god, that was a nasty. I, I needed to go drink something. Apparently, man, my th my throat's just raw. <laughs> Thank you and good night.